Hello, this is Professor Paul Gruen. Um, my SQL, uh, Manchester Community College course, CSC 230. Welcome back. This is our fourth video as we're learning how to use my SQL. And in chapter three of Larry Ullman's book, My SQL, he really focuses on database design. Now, on the um, on the discussion board in class, we have had um, some great discussions on database ideas, your purposes, <coughs> excuse me, your purposes, your database names, and your table names, and I've been um, working on uh, helping you to refine that. Um, I've also asked you to create an account at creately.com. This is a really awesome tool. Um, for 50 bucks a year, you can do <coughs> all sorts of Visio diagrams and everything else, and it's um, it's really pretty amazing what it what it can do. Um, they do have a ability to create database UML diagrams, and I'm going to quickly go over this. It's about quarter of seven on Monday morning, so I've got a real short time to get this done. I got to get off to work, but I wanted you I wanted to go over this with you quickly and get your database design homework assignment up on Blackboard. So the first thing you need to do is go into go to creately.com and you'll create an account. As you can see here, I'm already logged in. Uh, what's really nice is you can even log in through Facebook. So I'm going to go to the application and then the um, No, it, this pops up all the time. It wants you to buy it. And what to, what you need to do is you'll need to create a new project. So the first thing, you're, you're in the, the UI. Uh, once you have this, make a screenshot of this and put this in the place where it says that you've created your account. This way I can see that you have a, a home project here designed with your name there. So then create a new project. Um, so I'm going to create a new project. Need more shareable projects? Go. No, I don't. Is it only going to allow me one project? I bet you it will. So I've created a project called Test, and um, what I want you to do there is call that project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that. Call that project your database name. My database name is going to be World. And then what you can do here is once you have your database pro, um, created, you can then create a new document. This window will pop up what you plan to draw down on the bottom. Skip this and create a blank diagram. Now you have a blank diagram, and by default what happens is the basic circle, square, rectangular objects appear. Down on the bottom, click on Get More Objects. This Add More Objects will appear. Uncheck shapes, and then underneath software, if you hit the plus sign and click software, you'll see database diagrams will open up, and then click load. And database diagrams, all it is is a simple table diagram like you've seen pictures of in your readings. So now for my world database, I'm going to need a continents table. I'm going to need a countries table. I'm going to need a languages table, and I'm probably going to, um, I could potentially use a cities table. And so just drag and drop your, your um, the amount of table diagrams you want. And then for each one of the objects, as you highlight an object, over on the side, you'll see the properties, notes, comments, and publishing and all. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to hit a property, and you'll see that the, um, let's see, where I want to be able to, don't just click in it, doom. Okay, yeah, you highlight the object, and then down here under general, you'll see where it says bank account, I can go and just type content spell it right, content, continents. And then 
from there, I can click on this object. I can call this country. Click on this object. Highlight this. I can click on COU country, call it country LA and country language. And then this object here, I can call it state. I'm going to go under bar province because maybe some countries don't have states. And then the other thing that I might do is drag another table and then highlight this and then call this city. So, um, so then at that point there, you're going to want to save it. And then what I would like you to call it is your name, Paul Gruen, dash world, which is your database name, dash UML. Now that you've um, saved that, now what you need to do is start working on the details and adding the right fields. Honestly, I haven't spent a lot of time on this, but clearly you can add your uh, column names and the, um, uh, the, the field types and then when you highlight an object, you'll even see that there's connectors. So you can connect the various objects together and the, the rows and stuff together for your, for your uh, relationships and your keys. So um, play around with this. I don't expect it to be perfect this first time out. I need to spend a little more time with it. And then don't forget to save it. Um, saving it again. Then here, what's the way I want you to make a screenshot of this, and then also what I would like you to do is do an export. And you can do an export, and then you say you export it as a PDF. You can even export it as an image. So also export it as an image, and grab that image and put it in the Word document at the bottom. But do two things: create it as, um, save it as, export it as an image, and then export it as a PDF. And then by exporting it as a PDF, um, just choose the defaults and hit export. Let's see what happens. It's been saved. And then it looks like I can even get it right to my desktop. Save it. And then if I move this out of the way, and if I look somewhere, there's got to be a PDF file. Year end build. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Oh, there it is, I think, right here. And if I double click on that, there's my doc diagram. So go ahead and um, start, get your um, database UML started. We're going to do this in two phases. Phase one will be your first draft, turn it in, and then phase, then I'll offer some suggestions, and then you'll submit it. Um, then has phase two. And then as we have this, then you're going to use this as your starting point for um, Chapter 4 and building your tables and actually creating your, your database diagram. In Chapter 4, what we're going to do is you're going to do the assignments in the chapter. Just go, you know, step 1, step 2, step 3. We'll make screenshots along the way. But then also build... Um, Build, build this database with the tables. Once I've given you the approval, and if you're already ahead of the game a little bit, once I've given you the approval for your database, your username, your table names, and your columns, you can go ahead and start creating and building your, um, your database in MySQL. And um, I'll have in chapter four, I'll have an assignment where I'll tell you exactly how I want you to show me how you've done that. For instance, you'll use your database name and then do show tables. You'll then do a describe on each of the tables and then give me screenshots of that in the command window. So that's where we're heading. This tool is a great tool to, um, looks like a great tool to uh, visually lay out and design your um, your databases. And uh, all of us will kind of learn how to do this together, but it's very, very intuitive. And I think 
nobody will have any problems. Again, keep uh, the chatter up on the discussion boards. I think everybody is just about done the homework assignments for module two. If you haven't, please um, complete those quickly because you stand a chance to fall behind. I really would like you to get this work done in the next couple of days, um, today's Monday, you can get it done by Tuesday, uh, so I can review it on Wednesday, and then we can get the final by Thursday, so by Thursday and Friday, we're digging into Chapter 4, that would be great. Hope everybody's doing well, and uh, looks like the Broncos really got spanked last night. Um, my wife is real sad. She was a avid Broncos fan, so she's in mourning this morning. So, everybody have a a great day, and uh, let's see how we come out with our uh, UML diagrams.